My name is Vanessa Donoso Lopez. I'm an artist from Barcelona, based in Ireland for the last 13 years. And uh, currently I'm on a residency in Alanis de la Sierra in the province of Sevilla in the south of Spain. And this residency facilitates me a place to stay and a working area in the Ermita of San Juan, dated from the 14th century. Uh, next to it, we find the castle dated from the 12th century. That is the space that I have used actually to gather the material I'm working with. So my work is interested in the idea of cross-cultural identity and what is around that concept, like uh, acculturation processes or compatibility between cultures, um, language, the idea of place. So about four years ago, I started to work with clay and the idea of this material being a direct link and a literal link to the place where we find ourselves in a specific time. Uh, so instead of working with commercial clay, I decided to dig my own. So the way it works is uh, first I, I do some a bit of an investigation around uh, different areas, around the place where I'm going to be working from. So I keep my eyes open in terms of possible sources of usable clay. Um, and then I start digging in a few different locations and experiments and consider the possibilities of, of, the, of this material. And the process would be um, first digging and gathering of the soil in a bucket. Then I fill this bucket with water and leave it overnight. And then the following day I clean it and I sieve it so I get rid of the uh, the stones, the bigger stones and the little leaves and little branches. And then again, I leave it overnight. So all the clay gathers at the bottom of the bucket. And then the following day, I get rid of the extra water that will be on top. So it's easy enough to do this. And then I pour this the clay part on a cotton cloth. And then I, I hang it so it gets rid of this extra water. In a hot climate like, like this here, usually it's ready to be used the following day. Uh, if it was colder, it would be probably a couple of days, like in Ireland. Then this, this clay is, is ready to be used and ready to be rolled out or to make whatever object needs to be done with it. So when you dig soil in a specific location, you're dealing with this place in the most direct possible way. And while you are manipulating it, you are dealing with the historical, biological, climatic, cultural records. We consider clay as the source of civilization since through it, it appears the first evidence of the written world. And uh, in a way, I want to recover this primitive language, this primitive way of communicating and just see what happens and, and what it takes me.